Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org and jobskillshare community. In this video, I will show you how to access servers for free for hands-on practice. And this is specifically designed for people who are new to IT. And they would like to learn something quickly, let's say creating an Active Directory, deployments, uh, Windows management, and things like that, where you don't have uh, capability or something like, you know, you don't have resources, or it maybe it just takes you more time to uh, do these things. So how do you do this uh, in our community? Uh, in our community, you have to be a part of two Discord um, channels. So one is uh, JobSkill Share Community, and the second one is KevTech, who is basically our friend, a partner, and we kind of do things uh, together. So the first one, if you go to JobSkill Share, I'll put the link in the description. When you join this community, uh, the first thing I want to recommend is to come to the chit chat channel over here, and then click here, and then basically introduce yourself just like this. Uh, Dan, the man, have actually introduced, and then we kind of like you know do a welcome and after that you have so many different things to start with but if you want to do the access where you can just quickly come here and when we send out a notification that's where someone can take on that server and of course we don't have an unlimited server so you have to be available uh, and we are gonna give this out on different timings so when you come over here and you basically come to JSS sandbox uh, if you want it and reserve it, then of course you can contact our support. But if you want to do this for free, we always put something like this, free four hours practice on JSS servers now available. So what do you get in here? You get a link where you go into the server. It's an ESXi environment. You have 16 GB RAM and you can easily create an Active Directory. We have done that in many labs. So one, you can watch this video and then kind of replicate everything exactly how I did it in the video. You can make it fast forward, so it's, it's a quick thing. If you are a, a documented type of person, you like documentation, step-by-step -step full documentation is available. It's a, it's kind of like our live training, basically documented by our live member who we are grateful for him because he did this step-by-step. -step. So think about it. One person paid $1,000 and the whole learning was actually put into a documented type of uh, training. Exactly the same thing that someone paid $1,000. So if you are smart and you're new to IT, this this is a pretty crazy access because you come over here, you have this for free, you watch it step by step and then you perform it for free as well for four hours and you get to learn these these skills for free but you have to be a part of these communities and be available that's the only way we can actually give these resources if you're part of a uh, keftech i will join i will put his um, discord link in our description as well when you join in this is a very active channel for it support i highly recommend it you should join it his videos are great uh, the people in this uh, communities are great too we are kind of like the same community but of course our focus is a little bit on a different side sometimes, so we don't want to mix two, these two together. That's why having two channels are great. So when you come over here in the free practice under JSS content, we actually announce under the job skill share notification. We, we don't announce this on all notifications. So make sure when you come over here, you go to the roles and in the roles, you have to actually um, click on one of these roles. So you can see if you click on JK and other ones, you will get different notification when someone posts a announcement. So as you can see, when KevTech posted an announcement, he will put it right here. If you want to see JSS, you're going to see it here. And then you get this notification and then basically say, I'm available for the server. Now, how does the access work on the server? Once you send us a message that I'm available, we are going to send you a private message with the link. It's very simple. We don't want to make it complicated. So we're going to send you a link and this is how it's going to look. You simply get this link. You don't need a username, password or anything. Just know that... Of course, when you click on the link and you try to connect your uh, IP addresses, uh, that's something it's getting, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be for security reasons or uh, for things like that. And any connections when things are happening that this server, wherever is managed, uh, they're going to see those IP addresses. So if you don't like that, of course, this is not for you then. And that's why we said this is not for security learning or uh, if you have concerns and I would say don't uh, try to go for it. But if you feel like that's fine, I want to do practice. This is normal. Anywhere you go on a web page, they're going to they're gonna have to see your IP addresses and who's connecting. So when you click on connect here, 
no username password nothing is required over here all you have to do is to open it you have the username password all everything available here so all you got to do is open on this uh, note uh, sorry notepad and you have it available there and once you click on login to vmware esxi it's a local environment then you can actually log into this esxi uh, with the username password that's provided and after that you can follow the blog the video and everything will be done in here for four hours so your access will say is right here four hours will expire if you feel like this is slow, you can go to settings, changes to 60, 100, fast, and okay, and the things will get better. If you think that the the, the monitor is not good or the, the view is not okay, so then click on this little icon on the right side. You can see how I'm changing it. So whichever you feel like is good for you. Now, the best thing about this is that it's not just an access. So other people can ac get access to this as a read-only view. So we can have other people say, hey, I want to I see what this person is doing, so I want to learn. So we can give as many people this access, but they won't be able to do anything. And other thing you can do is you can go to the communities. Actually, this is something we highly recommend. You should come to the communities, stream your lab live over here, so then other people can come in and talk to you or help you. And that's kind of like becoming a free training for you. So great access. We love this type of stuff. Uh, we are enthusiasts about these things. So join in. Let us know if you are ready for this. We're going to send you a message. Thank you.